Hello student, myself Nimesh Pavarkar. Welcome to Antina and Propagation lecture series. In my previous lectures, I completed chapter number 10. In that chapter, we have discussed about the microscopic antenna. Or in other words, it is also known as the page antenna. So in that chapter, we have discussed about the construction of the microscopic page antenna, advantages and disadvantages of microscopic page antenna, principle of working of the page antenna. Now, we start new chapter, chapter number 11. And in this lecture, we discuss about the lens antenna. So, start with. So, first we discuss the introduction of the lens antenna. So, a lens antenna is an antenna consisting an electromagnetic lens with a field. See here, there is a uh, figure here we use the lens in the transmitting as well as the receiving mode. It is a three-dimensional electromagnetic device having refractive index n other than unity. It operate is it operation is similar to a glass lens used in an optical. The lens antenna can be used in a transmitting as well as in the receiving mode. So here in the figure A is indicate we have used the lens antenna as a transmitting mode and figure B this indicate that the, we use the lens antenna at the receiving mode. Now we discuss the function of the lens antenna. So first one function of the lens antenna is it controls the illumination of aperture. Now, second one function is it culminates the electromagnetic ray. Third one function is it produces a directional characteristic. So it is also used for the to produce a directional characteristic. Now, next one function of the lens antenna is in the uh, receiving mode, it converts the incoming wavefront at its focal of the focal point. Next one advantage, it produces a plant wavefront from a spherical wavefront. Now we discuss about the types of lens antenna. So the types of lens antenna is depends on the refractive index. And the refractive index it is denoted by n. If the value of refractive index n is greater than 1, then the types of antenna we can as a convex planned lens, then convex convex lens, and convex co con concave lens we can use. And when the refractive index is less than 1, then here in this figure, the types of the lens antenna are the concave plan lens, then concave convex concave lens, and the last one is the concave convex lens. So these are the types of the lens antenna. Now we discuss another types of the lens antenna. Delay lens. So now the question comes in our mind. What is delay lens? A delay lens antenna is the antenna in which the electric path length is increased by the lens medium and wave is retarded. Now second one type of lens antenna is the fast lens antenna. A fast lens antenna is the antenna in which the electric path length is decreased by lens medium and the wave is accelerated. So these are the two types. One is the delay lens and second one is the fast lens antenna. Now we discuss about the principle of the lens antenna. So how it works, we discuss about the principle of the lens antenna. So to discuss this, consider a optical convex lens. If a point source is placed at the focal point of the lens, which is aligned the axis of the lens. So here, the, we see in this figure, there is a one lens we have put here. And this is a source we have put at the focal point. Now, due to the radiation from the point source, we get the spherical wavefront. When they travel 
to the lens refraction take place due to the refractive index of the lens and thus the ray are collimated to obtain a plane wave front of the parallel ray so this is the simple principle of working of the lens antenna so when the source is radiate the energy and it's produce the spherical wave front and when it strike with the lens and due to the refractive index here the lens convert the spherical wave front into the parallel wave so this is the principle of the lens antenna the refraction is more at the edge than the at the center now the feed system of the lens antenna we know that what is feed system that means we give the input to the lens antenna so how we can give the input we discuss here in a general the requirement of the primary source for antenna feed in a lens antenna are similar to that of the parabolic reflector so similar to the parabolic reflector lens antenna are fed with a horn antenna as shown in this figure so normally we we'll fed the lens antenna by using the horn antenna we know that we use the horn antenna to fed the reflector antenna same principle we have used here in some application the flare side of the horn antenna are continue to the lens as shown in the figure which avoid the stray radiation from the horn antenna now joining of the lens antenna so now the question come in our mind what is joining so we discuss here the weight of the lens can be reduced by removing section of the lens which is called joining of lens so instead of using the full lens we reduce the weight of the lens by using this joining technique so here in this figure we can see the method of the joining now there are the types of the joining is the cow surface joining and next one type is the plant surface joining the joint step is denoted by z so in the joint lens antenna the thickness z of the lens antenna is such that the electric length of the thickness z in a dielectric is an integral length of lambda longer than that in the air that means z in dielectric may be 3 lambda d and that in air is 2 lambda 0 where lambda d and lambda 0 are the wavelength in a dielectric and air respectively for one lambda difference we can write the equation as z upon lambda d minus z upon lambda 0 is equals to 1 but the refractive index n is equals to we know that is nothing but the ratio of the lambda 0 and lambda d so we can write the equation as z upon lambda 0 by n minus z upon lambda 0 is equals to 1 now the when we try to solve this equation so when we simplify this equation we can write as a n minus 1 into z upon lambda 0 is equals to 1 so we can write from this equation z is equals to lambda 0 upon n minus 1 upon lambda so this is the equation for this antenna now we discuss the advantages of joining the joining of the lens antenna reduce the weight of an antenna and make it comparatively stronger so the second one advantage is the joining of lens antenna make sure that after the signal are in phase now third one advantage is the join antenna shows less power this uh, dissipation compared with that in the unjoined antenna now there is also disadvantage of this joining technique as compared with the unjoined lens antenna 
the zone lens antenna are frequency sensitive so this is also one disadvantage of this zoning method now non metallic dielectric lens consider that the isotropic antenna source is placed at the focal point say 0 so here in this figure we can see let l be the focal length then now according to the principle of the equality of the path length the electric length path oop1 must be the same as that of path oqq1 q2 as shown in this figure we can simply consider that the path length op must be equal to the path length oq let op is equals to r and oq is equals to l we consider then we can write the equation as r upon lambda 0 is equals to l upon lambda 0 plus r cos theta minus l upon lambda d so here this lambda 0 is indicate the wavelength in the free space and lambda d indicate the wavelength in the lens now multiplying the equation number 1 by lambda 0 so we get r is equals to l plus r cos theta minus l lambda 0 by lambda d now in general the refractive index of the lens is given by n is equals to v0 upon vd or v0 is nothing but the velocity in of the ray in the free space so we can write the n is equal to c upon vd but c is equals to we know that c is equals to f into lambda so we can write the refractive index n is equals to lambda 0 upon lambda d thus the equation number 2 become now we use this refractive index property in this equation number 2 so we can write the r plus r is equals to l plus r cos theta minus l into n so instead of lambda 0 upon lambda d we have put n also refractive index can be expressed in terms of the dielectric constant of the medium as n is equals to v0 upon vd and we know that v0 is nothing but w c the c upon vd and we can also write this in the form of 1 upon nu 0 epsilon 0 upon 1 upon 100 nu epsilon so we can write when we simplify under nu into epsilon upon under nu 0 epsilon 0 here nu is indicate the permeability of the dielectric medium of lens epsilon indicate the permittivity of the dielectric medium of the lens nu 0 indicate the permeability of the free space and the value of this nu 0 is the 4 pi into 10 to minus 7 and epsilon 0 is indicate the per permittivity of the free space and the value of this is the 8.85 into 10 to minus 12 and we have also know that the nu is equal to nu 0 into nu r and epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 into epsilon r so we can write the refractive index n is equals to under nu 0 nu r epsilon 0 epsilon r upon nu 0 nu epsilon 0 so when we simplify this so we get the n is equals to under root nu r into er sorry epsilon r so now for the non metallic material nu r is equals to 1 so we can write the n equals to under root epsilon r now we simplify the equation number 3 so we get r is equals to l plus n r cos theta minus n dot l so we can write this equation as n dot l minus l is equals to n r cos theta minus r now we take the l common from the left hand side so we can write l n minus 1 is equals to r n cos theta minus 1 now we can get this equation so r is equals to l n minus 1 upon n cos theta minus 1 the SM3D of a the hyperbola are at the angle theta 0 with respect to the main axis this angle 
can be determined by the letting r is equals to infinite then from the equation number 6 we can write n cos theta 0 minus 1 is equals to 0 so we can write the cos theta 0 is equals to 1 upon n so we get the theta 0 is equals to cos inverse 1 upon n so in this lecture we have discussed about the lens antenna part 1 in the next lecture, we will discuss about the lens antenna part 2. Thank you.